a 31-year-old woman who admits to having sex with a 13-year-old boy and then becoming pregnant with his child won't face any jail time under a plea deal with prosecutors. Pavla, working in anti-trafficking organizations for over 12 years, what are your thoughts on something like this? I think it's a great time to point out the fact that predators can be women because a very common misconception is that they're men, and they are predominantly men. But just because this is a woman, no one should assume that they're safe. Right. Uh, another great point is that boys can be victims too. What do you think about the court ruling? Like, if it were a man in that position, it would most likely be jail time. I think that the justice should be the same no matter what the person looks like or who they are. A lot of men are getting away with this kind of thing too. California is considering a bill right now that would decriminalize um, a 10 year difference. So like if someone's like 24 and someone's 14, certain types of sexual relations, they would, um, the penalties would be lower or they would decriminalize it. So I, I think the whole society in general is moving towards a wider acceptance of that. Serrano gave birth to a baby boy. She admitted to having sex with that 13 year old. The victim's mother, who we're not going to identify in this story, tells us she is not happy with this deal offered to a woman she says ruined her son's life. I feel like my son's robbed of his childhood. Now he's having to be a father. He, he's a victim and he's gonna have to live with that for the rest of his life. What has this been like for your son? Um, it's caused him a lot of depression. He's um, shut down a lot. I feel like because she's a woman, they're not. They're having compassion for her because she was pregnant. But I don't think they take into play again. She was pregnant by a child. You know, that child was created from a social abuse. Under terms of the plea deal the suspect signed off on, she'll be required to register as a sex offender, and the judge could sentence her to 10 years to life of sex offender intensive supervised probation. What we do know is that Serrano has a, a hearing coming up in May where she will learn how much probation time she'll have. Currently, Serrano has full custody of the baby. If the victim's family wants any connection to the child, they have to now go through the perp, right? Yeah. So, because she has full custody of the child. And so what do you think the ruling, and I understand this is your opinion, do, what do you think the ruling should have been? Because this is complicated in that, in that it wasn't just an older woman going after a child. Now there's another child involved, which is, you know, the product of their relationship. Mm -hmm. Well, when you look at the statistics that uh, a predator offends an average of 70 times, I think that the fact that she is, I mean, clearly a predator because she did that to a child, she should be in a position that she can't offend again. So just the fact that it's her child, I don't think that child's safe. In this age of love is love and acceptable relationships span the gamut, you think that's more Hollywood, but no, now the courts seem to be aligning with that from their rulings, from legislation. And so it really shows the importance of the family structure and smaller communities protecting their own. Can you speak to that? Like when it comes to being an anti-trafficking and, and just the importance of family, mm -hmm. what can you tell our audience? So I think that in a time where there is so much mixed signals going on and mixed messages and morals, it's so important that we have a correct understanding of God's justice. And I think Christians should be leading in that. I think it, in this case in particular, like it, it's very helpful for a victim to see justice um, that helps the healing process and it helps reinstate in the message to them that this was wrong, what happened to them, because it might be confusing and stuff like that. Right. And so in a time when the, the legal system isn't doing their job, the role of family is even more important. So they're standing up and saying, this is wrong. We want the child. We want to raise it. She's not safe. She's not a trustworthy person. And I think that that could have a lot of impact for that child. Excellent, excellent. I would love to hear what you think on the topic. And also, uh, let's, let's say a prayer. Let's say a prayer for the healing of the family that's involved in this, but also the salvation of this woman. And again, we're looking forward to hearing what you think. Leave that in the comment section below. Also, please remember to like this video. If you haven't already, subscribe, and we'll see you next time on LED.